Take two. Because I made a mistake in take one. It happens. It's all good. Okay. Um, I'm at the point where my sock measures 19 centimeters from the toe to the needle where I'm at. 19 centimeters, which is about seven and a quarter inch ish. Um, <clears throat> remember, in the introduction, I explained to you that um, <clears throat> you need to measure your foot. You only have to do it once um, from the toe to the heel. You put your bare foot on a piece of paper, trace it, cut it out, and you can use the cutout multiple times. But you don't have to use it because if you know what your total, total foot length is, in my case 24, you subtract 5 centimeters and I come at a point of 19. For you, it's different. We all have a different shoe size and uh, foot length, so measure your foot, that's important. I always know if I'm <coughs> reaching the 19th centimeter um, mark, I have to place a stitch marker for my afterthought heel, because that's what we're doing in this tutorial. You need one of these, a stitch marker that opens and closes like this see or you can use a darning needle and a piece of thread i will do the stitch marker in the first sock and i will show you how i do um, the thread method which is simple and you don't need the stitch marker okay Let's do it. Let's do this. I have 28 stitches. That's an even number. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. I can either place it on the 14th stitch or on the 15th stitch. Either way, it doesn't matter because Later on, when we're finished with um, the leg of the sock, <clears throat> we're going to cut the stitch where I place my stitch marker. And we're going to unravel to the right and to the left. And it doesn't matter if you place it on the 14th or the 15th. If you have an uneven number, it makes things easier, right? But I, I hardly ever have an uneven number. So we need to the other side of the first sock. This will be a short tutorial, a short part of the, the whole tutorial, I think. We're done in a minute. Okay, leave the thread of the first sock, remember from the part two. Knit on. I'm so curious how far you are with your sock, if you're knitting along. Maybe we'll start um, a hashtag on Instagram. I have to, f I have to search for one and come up with one that's not taken. And maybe I'll, I'll place it in the in the show notes below, and we can all show um, the progress of the scrappy socks. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14. Okay, now I'll show you what I do with... Um, so I, I've done it on the 14th stitch of that sock. It doesn't matter. The 15th is also fine. So weave it through. Cut the thread. Or leave it long if you like that. Now make a double knot. Left over right. Oops, and right over left. That way you're sure that it's not going anywhere. And knit all the way to the end. See, they're both 
in a stitch and that's the stitch and the stitches because we're going to do it twice that we're going to cut later when we have finished the leg okay if you want to use um, a pattern or a rib stitch or whatever <clears throat> now would be a good time to start but um, I find it easier um, to just knit one or two rounds on top of the, the one we did now, especially on the back, because if we're going to pick up stitches later, because that's what we're going to do under the stitch marker and above the stitch marker, and then we're going to cut and unravel to the left and right, um, if you have a rib, say two by two, I'll show you there. Look, I placed the stitch marker and I, I did some plain rounds, just stockinette stitch, because it makes it easier to pick up all the right legs, the left or the right legs, from the stitches you see here. And if you have a rib stitch or a pattern, it might be complicated to see, to read where the stitch is. So make it easy on yourself and just knit a few rounds, one, two or three or more, whatever, um, plain stockinette stitch. It makes your life easier when we're having to, to pick up the stitches later. Okay. Now all you do now is um, knit on in a pattern or not in a pattern. Well, stockinette stitch is also a pattern, but see that those are different just knit on until you think the leg is long enough for you in my case i usually knit the leg part which is the the part here above the stitch marker just as long as the foot is and the heel is going to come here see I did it with this one, the plain one, and with the, the ribbed one. But that's my way of knitting my socks. But if, if you like to have your um, your cuff shorter here, you, you're making ankle socks or whatever, do that. Then you are uh, done. Very fast. I have to knit all the way up to the top. And then I'll come back to you. So, did I forget something? I told you about the stitch marker. I told you about the start of the pattern. Just do a few rounds. And um, I told you about the length. Yes, I think that's it. Okay, I hope you can follow it. And that it's easy for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, either on Instagram or on YouTube or on the Facebook group. Um, we have a Facebook group um, that's called the Scrappy Sock Knitters. If you want to join, you're welcome to. You just have to answer two questions um, so I can be sure you're a normal person <laughs> and not, um, well, a bot or someone who wants to disturb things. Uh, you're, you're welcome to join. Please do. I'll see you next time.